I saw a question this morning about the forward neutral reverse switch. Um, I, I believe this guy was asking, one of the two were not working. So what I'm gonna do right now, this is, as you can tell, this is a used motor. This is the, the perfect example and where it's best to show you guys where, uh, um, how everything is connected. Cause uh, you know, I mean, when I do it with brand new motors there, you know, well, it's never that easy. You know, and I understand that. So here we go. You always have to have tools in your in your boat. Yes. That's a must. You have to have your tools in your box and your boat. So we have the switch, the forward, neutral, and reverse switch right here. There is a, some of you guys are gonna look at it and get scared. It's really not that complicated. It's just uh, jumpers and wires. But there is the 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 important wire is gonna be the red and red with the white trace okay so red with white trace I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit where it comes from and what it does so just just make sure this is connected um, make sure the jumper is connected because this jumper is gonna power your, your, your reverse part of the switch red with white trace jumper and these two sides right here this one and this one gray and red so those are the three the other ones are just for the neutral um in neutral start protection in neutral start protection sorry all right so when you turn um when you turn the key on the on position you're gonna energize the key switch and um which that's gonna as most of you know your uh transmission will not engage if you have the key switch off you have to turn the key on and that powers the accessory wire, which is gonna power this one right here. Again, this is a used motor. I mean, somebody already worked on this. This does not come from factory this way. I don't do this. Yeah. Um, okay, so the red wire, I'll show you in a minute that wire over there. Um, but um, you know what? I'm gonna show you right now because that, that has to be in order. Right. Right, right. Okay, so let me take this off really fast. Sorry, I don't want to make this too long. That's why I normally use power tools. But here we go. Key on the off position, key on the on position. That uh, energizes this wire. This right here. The red one. This, most of the, uh, well, I don't want to say most of the time. There is um, quite a few times that I have seen that this comes from rigs. And it's a little loose. It's either not making contact or it completely comes off, and that causes the the, um, the both of them forward and reverse to stop working. That will not energize anything. So if you put loose both of them, check this wire first. This one right here. Um, second. So if you do have this connected, you're good. Now, where does this wire go? That wire energizes this breaker. This is a 20 amp breaker. Um, it comes, that red wire comes here into this plug and comes out and goes here. Okay. Now, again, you lose both forward and reverse. You check this one. How do you check uh, a breaker? How are, how are we going to check a breaker? Just take either a screwdriver or take a pair of a needle nose. A needle nose pliers would be better. You just bridge this to you and if it works then you know your breakers uh, it's blown and then you replace it um, for you to get out of the water really fast just take one of these nuts put these two wires in the in the same post just make them put them together and that'll that'll bypass the breaker and you're out of the water now if in the case that you lose forward or reverse either or you lose one of the two okay there is only there is only there's two things that do not share both of them uh how do you say it that are not common between the two gears um they both of them have the independent ground and they have these two wires now i'm going to show you on this one this is an older model this is an eight and a two pin connector i'm going to show you in a little bit on the other newer ones um the 12 pin connector these connectors right here, this is, so obviously you have your 
grounds right here. Both of them from neutral and uh, reverse are going to come from back here. This is your uh, forward clutch right here. I don't know if you can see. Forward clutch and reverse magnets. Okay. Mm -hmm. So independent grounds right here. They go onto this post. Make sure, obviously, there is no frayed wires. There's no no loose connections or anything. If everything is good, then you're good. Now, these two wires right here, two reds. One of them is forward. The other one is reverse. The one that connects to the gray wire, that's going to be... Remember that gray wire I showed you in the front on that switch? It comes to here. That's forward. The red one is reverse. Now, if you lose one of the two, check for those connections. Check this connection is solid. There is no burnt wires in here. These plugs come apart. In, in case you have to take them apart, you stick one of those picks in here and take that little green um, wedge out. And uh, this one the same. You take a, a flat blade screwdriver and pull it out and then check for all the connections. Make sure the wires are all the way in and whatnot. Um, now, if everything else checks out, if everything checks out and everything is good, all the wires, connections, no burnt wires, no nothing else, you can't find anything else, then it is uh, likely that your magnets, one of the two magnets, either reverse or forward, are um, out. They, For some reason, they went out. That will m almost never happen. 99% uh, of the time, you're going to be dealing with a wiring issue. Um, we have we have wire diagrams on the website, or you can call me or Keith, which will drag the call to me because it's wiring. And uh, <laughs> but um, awesome. it's really simple. It's really really easy. I don't want to make it too complicated and too long because we can talk about that on the phone. But uh, it's really simple. It's just follow the wires. Go goes from the key switch to the relay. I mean to the breaker. From the breaker goes to the handle, to the handle, from the handle to your plug. That's all.